Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to Soap Mona. I'm Rebecca and I'm so glad you're here. Today I thought I'd try out doing my first Friday sews. This was started by Today and Jen's sewing room. I'll link below in the description. She started this as a great community chat. Um, a lot of the British uh, sewing vloggers I follow use this hashtag and um, I thought I'd try it out today. Filming this in advance because next week is Thanksgiving and I will be over at my sister's house on the other coast. So I thought I'd plan ahead and I will release this on Black Friday. So if you're watching this, I hope like me, you are in the house, not shopping, but if you are, have fun. Um, I can't stand shopping on Black Friday and I avoid it at all costs. Um, I tend to try and do more of the small business Saturday and uh, Cyber Monday, but <laughs> in person, not my thing. I'm gonna be looking at some notes today. I wanted to plan this video a week ahead and show you what I'm working on, um, some of the new stuff I got, um, some new patterns that I collected, some new patterns I'm trying out, and um, just some general stuff that I'm sewing. Some of my sewing plans I've mentioned in a previous video. If you wanna go back and look at that one, that's from my Plan and Sew Your Seasonal Wardrobe video series, and I'll link that playlist below in the description. Of course, you can always find my sewing plans and more information over on my blog, SewPomona.com. First look that I was planning on, this one has been quite the process. So um, I'll put up uh, an image of my plants. So I was planning on making a nautical striped top and a rust button detail pant. So I made the pant, I had to do the waist rib like four times. I'm gonna show that when I do my monthly makes video, but um, for now, the pant is finished, the sweater was not working out. So this is the first version I made and it's cute, but I don't know if it's really my style. I don't love the wider neck. Um, I was trying to play around. I think the fabric is too heavy for what I was envisioning. So I'm going to show you. So this one I'll probably still wear, but more for like casual, um, relaxed outings. So what I did instead is I switched it up and I bought a new sewing pattern. I bought the Maritime Knit Top. Um, this is from Lisa and Co. And I thought maybe this slimmer um, tailored fit would work better. And so I went with a different knit. So I think the, this one is really nice, but it's a little bulky. And um, I think I liked the idea of this width of stripe. But I don't know if I'll, that's the kind of thing I wear all the time. So I went with a much narrower knit. So um, this one. So this one is a Lady McElroy Visco spandex striped jersey and navy and white from Stone Mountain and Daughter. So um, I ordered this last week and it just came in and it's really nice. It's very light and very thin. You can almost see through it, but not really quite. Um, maybe because it's very sunny today, you can. But it's a nice lightweight, thin knit. And this is kind of the thing I would wear normally. So I thought I would go with this and I'm still going to make the dress shirt to go under it. I also got this from Stone Mountain and Daughter. This. This is a cotton satin Batiste in champagne. So I had made, I had started um, doing my muslin for the other shirt um, that I was originally gonna use that was a vintage Vogue pattern. And I cut out the pattern, I was all ready to go, and I realized it didn't have a collar stand. And while that's not a horrible thing, I wanted a traditional dress shirt. So. I was really just not loving it. The fabric I was using as a muslin, I was not loving that either. So I went ahead and ordered this. Now this has been washed and dried, but it's got a beautiful, like creamy sheen to it. Um, it's very lightweight, almost like wall. And it just feels really nice and just slightly silky. So I'm thinking this is going to make a great dress shirt. Um, so for this one, I also, I got a new pattern for this one as well. Let me see if I have that in here. All right, so this is another Lisa Lynn Company pattern. This is the classic shirt. This is the classic shirt. It's a women's pattern that comes in sizes 
zero to 20. Um, I just thought I would try a new pattern company that I haven't tried. I think uh, from what I've seen, Lisa, her clothes are beautiful. They're very well tailored and very traditional. Um, I don't usually order them because they tend to be a little more conservative than what I wear, but I thought for a basic shirt, this would work perfectly. And what I wanted was a really traditional shirt. I want a collar stand, I want a collar. Um, I like this one has bust darts in it, it has pockets, it has two options for pockets. And then it's got the cuff and um, what's it called? Um, yeah, so a really nice traditional shirt. So that is what I'm switching my plan to for that one. Okay, and then I did finish two more projects. Um, I'm gonna show them quickly. I will show them more in depth when I do my monthly makes work, my monthly makes video. But I thought for today, I would just show you them quickly just so you can see what I've been working on. Um, so this is the yo-yo knit top and skirt. Now, I messed up the first time I was making this and I cut the fabric uh, the wrong way on the grain. And so it didn't have enough stretch. So then I cut it out again, and but I had wasted a lot of fabric because originally I was planning on making a pair of pants with this too, but they're out of the fabric. So I decided what I would do is I made one top in the regular length and one top in the cropped length. So this is the cropped one, and um, this has self fabric for the little V in the neckline. And then this is the second one I made that is the full, oh wait, no, that was the full length version. All right, so this one is the full length version. So it's got a nice dropped shoulder. And then this one is the cropped version. And it was really cute cropped, but I, I was just, it was not feeling like me. It was feeling too youthful. So what I did was I took my extra ribbing and I put that on the bottom there. And I feel like that gives me just the length I need, but it's still really cute. And um, I was saying in my fabric video, I talked about this, how soft this bamboo fleece is. So I'm really excited about this. I have to see how it's gonna wash and wear. Um, I haven't used this knit before, but so far so good. And then of course I made the matching skirt too, which is just a simple um, knit pencil skirt. And this fits perfectly. So when I do my monthly makes work, I, my monthly makes video, I will try this on and show you what it looks like. Okay, and so then um, that was look two. Look three was my Georgette dress that I'm still working on. I have everything cut out, I just haven't sewn it. Look four. So this is that Vogue 1914 set that I've made many times before. Um, I will show this worn in my monthly makes video, but for now I'm just a little quick look at it. Um, I love this ribbed knit in this bronze copper color. Um, this fabric is from Core Fabrics. It's just a really nice lounge pant. And I do like Vogue 1914 because it does slightly taper in at the knee and then go out wide again. It's very slight, but it's, it's really nice. And then I made um, another asymmetrical tunic. So um, what's great with this pattern is um, the way this, the pattern pieces are laid out, you don't have to worry about um, trying to get your stripes to go different directions. It is planned like that in the design. So if you just use the bias grain that is listed on the pattern pieces, this is what you get if you have a pattern or a rip net. Um, yeah, so this looks great. I'm loving that. And then my look five is my Riley coat in my boiled wool. Um, this I will probably work on later in the year, maybe even after Christmas. Um, it doesn't get cold here very often, so this is not like a necessary project. Um, this is just I wanted to make a wool coat and I've never done that before. And then I, so those were my main project plans and you can see I'm about halfway done with those. So I'm feeling pretty good about how much I planned this year. Sometimes I way over plan and then I don't make half of the things that I've planned on making for the season. So. This time um, I made a really manageable plan and I have a feeling I'm gonna get everything done by Christmas. Um, if you watched last week's video, 
you'll have seen um, my muslins for my gala gown. And then this is the other project I'm working on. I am using By Hand London's um, Holly jumpsuit, which I've made before. I'm making uh, version two, um, the pant with the draped cowl top. And my fabric is supposed to come in tomorrow, so that's not here yet. But I've made this pattern before, and I think it's gonna be so cute for our Barbie-themed uh, cocktail party. So if you missed that video, you can go back and watch that. There's two in that series so far. So now let me show you some of the new patterns that I've gotten. Um, when we had our ASG, that's the American Sewing Guild luncheon um, earlier in the month, we um, had Pamela Leggett as our speaker. And she's a national speaker. She owns Pamela's Patterns. And um, her lecture was really great. And I had already ordered two of her patterns. Um, I haven't made them yet. I so I got this one. This is the new necklines and sleeves for the perfect t-shirt. I already have a really good basic t-shirt I use. So I was thinking I might try out these necklines and just adapt some of the patterns I already have. And then I got her um, favorite bias skirt, um, just because it is great to have a nice bias skirt. And I wanted to try out some of her patterns before she came to speak, but I never got to them yet. So when, I, when uh, she was giving her talk, I did go ahead because she gave us a discount. I went ahead and bought the Modern Penoir Ensemble. And this looks like a fun, very easy to sew um, robe and a pant. And um, this is a multi-size pattern that fits bust from 31 to 48 inches and hips 34 to 57 inches. Um, she has a virtual workshop that you can do with this pattern. And I thought this would be a great one because I could make um, a few for my family. I might make some from Chris for Christmas gifts or for later in the year. I try and keep my Christmas sewing like super minimal because I always end up sewing so much before the holidays that I get, I stress myself out. So I'm trying to keep the gift giving non-sewing related, but sometimes I just get carried away and then I will make a few things. But this one I know I could sew for everyone in my family. Oh, and then one thing I was really excited about, she was showing us um, her secret sleeves pattern. And this is just like a little crop sleeve, um, like almost like a vest that you wear under a dress. And because I sew a lot of sleeveless dresses, I thought this could be really useful to um, prolong their life and change up the look. So I got this pattern to try out um, just for in the future when I'm making um, a sleeveless dress. I'm, if I have extra fabric, I will make one of these or um, maybe mix and match some patterns. Um, when I ordered the pattern for my gala gown, um, that's that 1956 vintage gown, I also got this pattern. This is a Vogue Paris original, Emmanuel Ungaro from 1970. And um, I got the size 14 that has a 36 inch bust. Um, I got this one also, this is from the Vintage Patterns Shop. And I really like these patterns because they're um, reprints and they're on a really nice, um, almost like, uh, they're on a really nice um, manila paper. So I can cut them. I don't have to worry about damaging a vintage pattern and they're very reasonably priced. So this one is like a jacket or a tunic dress over a pant. And I'm really into this kind of layering look with a tunic or a dress over pants. Um, if you want, I have a Pinterest board for sewing the look where I have a bunch of different um, ideas and sewing patterns that I wanna recreate. And tunics and pants are on one of those. So I am thinking about, I don't really need a coat, but the little dress tunic with the, um, the vintage 70s pant, I thought would be really cute. So I am thinking about making this one. I have a really nice white crepe that I think might be very cool and modern to make the whole look out of. So I'm thinking about that one. And then I had briefly shown this one in my last video. Um, this is a new pattern I got during one of the Vogue sales. 
It is Julio, C Julio Cesar V1692. And it's just a little knit dress with this um, cut, cut out hole in the neckline and a uh, nice racer back. And um, they're showing it in a really dressy kind of fabric, but I think this could be really cool in a casual fabric. Uh, maybe go a little sportier. So I do have that to try out. And please excuse, they're doing the lawn outside, so it might get a little noisy. Um, I also got a few sewing accessories lately. Let me just put these away. So I got a few sewing accessories. Um, while Pamela was there, she had a little booth where she was selling a bunch of goodies. I talked about this last week. This is the Perfect Sew Wash Away Fabric Stabilizer. I got this for my gown so that um, that silky fabric won't be so shifty. So I'm gonna try out that. Um, our president, you, sorry, it just got dark in here. Um, Jill, our president for ISG had told me she used this before and it works great. Um, I also got a bunch of woven stay tapes and knit stay tapes. These are from Sew Keys um, by Emma Seabrook. And I've heard such great things about these. Um, I got a bunch of different sizes, what was left. And um, these are really great for neckline facings and zippers and doing your shoulder seams. So I've got like all the sizes and I'm really excited to use those. Uh, and then I got this um, seam presser. So what I knew I was going to be making a dress shirt and these are great because you can press your whole seam open on these very easily. It's kind of like a clapper kind of thing. So you're pressing it on the wood. So that is a cool thing. This is a little magnetic pin thing. So it's got this piece and then it's got a magnet underneath that you can move. So what I will often do is when I'm cutting on my bed or um, moving stuff around, I will stick this on top and the magnet underneath so that it stays in place. And then I can just brush my pins over onto it. Um, so I love having the magnetic pin trays just to keep my pins, uh, especially because I have carpeting in my sewing space. Um, and I'm trying not to kill the dog with all the pins on the floor. So um, yeah, I know my husband gets really pissed off because I'm uh, sewing on, I cut out fabric on my bed all the time. And so then there ends up being like pins everywhere and I'm very bad about picking them up. So this is very helpful for me. <laughs> all right, so, oh, I do have one other project I'm working on. I am, let me just move this over. I have cut out, I got some um, athletic knitwear a while ago and I had some of this um, Terry fabric, it's a Terry stretch. Um, so it's not my favorite fabric, but I do need another pair of sweatpants because my other pair of Hudson's are getting really worn out. So um, I thought I would try this, um, it's just a, Hudson pant from True Bias. I've made this a ton of times. Um, this is my adaptation. I've lengthened it. I've changed the fit a little bit. Um, I've made it the high waist, just um, the way I like to make this pattern. But I had a bunch of this, um, this Terry in my uh, stash. So I thought I'd cut that out because I can never have too many um, PJ lounge pants. I think that is it. I have a lot of sewing to do. Um, so I am gone all this week and then I will be back next week. So I'm trying to film this early so that it can get out to you while I'm gone. Um, but so um, hopefully the next video will be my monthly makes video. So I'll try on all those clothes and maybe I'll have a few more things finished to show you. So. Thank you so much for watching today. And if you've watched this far, I would really love it if you'd subscribe to the channel. Um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss an upload. And uh, please like and comment if you want to on this, on this video. Tell me um, what's your favorite thing I'm sewing with. Um, is there a pattern among these that you're really interested in? What are you sewing? Let me know what you're sewing. 
I would love to get some great new pattern ideas. All right, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, happy sewing.